I'd read that Bob Marley was coming over to do a tour of England and went down to a club called the Speakeasy Club. And eventually, in the Whalers turned up, and I said, uh, walked up and said, Can I take your picture? And he said, Yeah, man, come in. And he took to me, you know. So he told me about the tour, and if I wanted to come along, I said, Yeah. A couple of years later, they came back. They played the Lyceum and he played the gig of gigs. Suddenly everybody wanted images of um, Bob Marley and I was the only one that had pictures of him prior to that gig. So I got the front cover of Enemy, uh, Time Out, Melody Maker, and that's how I became a rock photographer. The technique of reportage is that uh, you have to build up a trust between you and your subject, not aware of you, but accept you being there and such, and not being intrusive. Another memorable um, session I did with Marion Faithful. She likes to drink, so we literally got blind drunk. She was there and she was rolling around and on the floor, and, it, and the shot is a memory, which is the, the shot which she was like that. She was smoking a cigarette, and then she went like, I like to move there, you know, and. That's it, that's the shot. It became the cover. I do get in a situation sometimes where, like a band like The Tricks, who I've never met. It's a bit like kind of blind dating, you know, it's kind of think, okay, fine, how am I gonna get around this girl? And then we start flirting with each other, basically. So that's how I have to kind of really work with it with The Tricks. Well, I'm working on a new book at the moment. It's um, on the Stone Roses, and the book's called um, this is the one. Over the years, I had over, over a thousand images. So they reformed and I thought, well, you know what, do a book. Photography, the essence of it is always, and will always be about capturing that moment. And that's what's all those images of Bob Marley or the Sex Pistols, or Marion Faithful, or whatever it may be, is always been about for me, just that, that moment. You know, then it becomes iconic.